what's going on move makers if you are new to my channel welcome my name is mariah i'm a regional flight attendant and you're tuning in to making moves with mariah and today i have a four day trip first off i have to apologize that i did not upload i believe last saturday you guys that trip took me out so i just definitely took my time and enjoyed my days off but we are back at it today we have a four day trip so i'm so glad that that other trip was over with and we're starting new all right you guys so my report time isn't until 11 25 and it's about 9 15 so i'm gonna make me some breakfast and i'm gonna go to target because i have a pickup order <laughs> and then i will be on my way to the airport i just finished my breakfast i have too many bagels eggs with cheese topped with green onions and of course some orange juice all right you guys so my breakfast was so good i am full so now i'm gonna go ahead and get to target hurry up pick up this order get dressed and get to this airport Alright, move makers, so I made it to the airport and I am gonna be dead heading from Atlanta to Nashville, then operating from Nashville to LaGuardia and then LaGuardia to Memphis, Tennessee. So that's where I'll be tonight and I will just see you guys once I make it there. boarding in about 20 minutes so I am just gonna relax a little bit and get ready to board and where we're going LaGuardia what's going on movie makers I have made it to LaGuardia it is absolutely freezing it's like 34 degrees here I am ready to go to Memphis so we have about like eight minutes before boarding I'm gonna hurry up and get these people on the plane and let's let's get out of here because it's, it's too cold Good morning, move makers. Yesterday was a really good day. I really didn't have any issues. I had some great passengers. On my last flight, there was a whole family and I mean, they were a lot of kids and everything. They were so hyper, but they were overall good kids. So it was still like just really fun, like interacting with them, giving their wings. They were so excited about getting their wings. So it was just really, really cute. But my flying partner did something and I was just like, why would you do that? All right, so when we do long flights, like over 900 plus miles, those are called meal flights. So because we were flying from LaGuardia to Memphis, that was like 962 miles. So we had to serve meals to first class. I was working the back, so I didn't have to do that. I just served like the snacks and stuff like that, the typical stuff, right? But when it comes to first class, first class gets meals but of course because of COVID and everything like that we haven't served hot meals in a long time so we have like sandwiches and stuff like that so on that flight my flying partner was supposed to serve the sandwiches we have turkey pastrami in like this whole grain bowl then today when we're flying back to LaGuardia we're supposed to be serving like these breakfast boxes but unfortunately LaGuardia didn't have those so they gave us snack boxes instead so those are like has like beef jerky chips like really like nice little snacks in there so once I'm done with service I come back to the galley and I'm putting my stuff away and I noticed like first class has the snack boxes and I was telling my flying partner I was like why do they have snack boxes like we have the the sandwiches and he's like yeah he's like i didn't feel like serving the sandwiches he's like there wasn't as much so he was just like i'm gonna just serve the snack boxes and i was like wait hold on what's going on because i check everything before we board and everything so i'll be checking for the meals i'll be checking for the drinks the snacks everything to make sure that we are prepared and so i knew we had enough 
sandwiches and stuff. But yeah, he was just like, yeah, like I didn't really feel like it, but um, like he wanted a sandwich for himself. In which, yes, technically we could like grab a sandwich or whatever here and there, but you have to serve first class first, like give them the option of everything. And then if there's something left over, then you're more than welcome to take it. But I was like, why would you do that? Because I'm working the forward today. So I'm gonna be serving first class and I can't serve them turkey and pastrami sandwiches because one, that's not breakfast food, two, it's not good anymore because it's been sitting on the plane overnight. Three, now I have to serve them snack boxes, but hopefully I have enough snack boxes. So yeah, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I'm just like, you're not setting me up for success for today. So it's just like, now I'm really gonna have to make sure that I have enough for my first class and I might not have enough. So now I'm gonna have to like compromise and figure out what to do. And now that things are starting to move forward from COVID, like we're not serving plastic cups to first class, we're serving fine china, okay, to first class. And I'm like excited to do that because I never done that before and I'm of course like still helping out my flying partner if he needs help with any of his first class passengers and I was like you're serving them plastic cups and he's like oh yeah I'm not gonna serve them fine china either I don't I don't want to break a glass and I'm like okay yeah I mean who wants to break a glass but like this is what we're supposed to do now you know what I'm saying and I'm just the type of person I'm not gonna tell you how to do your thing because we all have our different strategies, how we like to do things and everything like that. But you're still supposed to do what you're supposed to do. So I'm just looking at him like, what are you doing? But yeah, you guys, that was pretty much it. I'm working the forward today. I'm serving first class. So I'm going to show him how to really do it because I'm my baby. Like, you, you can't do stuff like that. Like, when there's fine china, you serve them fine china. When there's actual meals, you serve them those meals. So it was just really crazy. And then... I forgot this part, but there was a passenger who had came up to the galley and he had asked my flying partner, he was like, hey, what happened to those sandwiches y'all would serve on these type of flights? And he made up some sort of lie. I didn't even hear him, but I was just like, oh my gosh, like, yo, we literally have these sandwiches that you were supposed to serve and you didn't serve them. But anyway, you guys, moving on, today is day two and I have four legs. So I'm traveling from Memphis back to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Portland, Portland back to LaGuardia and then LaGuardia to Norfolk, Virginia. So that's what it'll be tonight. But let me hurry up and get to this van. My van leaves at 10 and it's about 9.45. So I'm gonna hurry up and get downstairs. you guys first flight of the day it's not packed at all which is really good it's a nice little easy flight for the first one today and let's go ahead and get started i hope everything is on this plane that i need which it should be so um i will see you guys once i get to laguardia today is day three on my four day trip yesterday went really really well i had no issues really at all all my passengers are good first class baby lit took care of them it was amazing i would just say that honestly like a lot of people who fly first class they really miss the glasses they don't really want to have plastic cups anymore so i'm glad i was able to serve with glasses but you guys um today is a shorter day yesterday was like the longest day out of the four days but today i have four legs technically three i'm leaving from norfolk virginia going to laguardia laguardia to milwaukee i'm being deadheaded from milwaukee to detroit from detroit i'm flying to indy indianapolis i don't know how to say indy indianapolis whatever i'm flying there today and so uh, i will be there but you guys i heard that my captain isn't very friendly on these first couple of legs we're gonna see how it goes so far so good but i'll see you guys once i dead head from milwaukee so i will just do a little quick update there and let you know how this captain is going let you know how these fights are going yeah <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just landed in LaGuardia, getting ready for this Milwaukee flight. It's very light today, so shouldn't be too many people. And I am just excited to get this done. After that, of course, it's the deadhead, so get a little break, get to chill. Definitely looking forward to that. I will see you guys once I make it to Milwaukee.
last flight of tonight. I'm so ready to go ahead and get to my hotel. What's going on, mood makers? I have made it into Indianapolis. I've been trying to practice saying that like over and over, but I think I finally got it. I'm in my hotel room. I made me some popcorn. So I'm just chilling, eating on that, watching YouTube videos. Of course, I'm watching Mr. Ballin. If you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. It's amazing. But other than that, you guys, everything has been went very well. All my trips were good today. I didn't have any problems with any crew or passengers and that captain i was telling you about who i was told was really rude we were good like he was really nice um he, he's just by the book and if he sees something wrong he's gonna say something about it so i know sometimes like that can come off rude but luckily for us that wasn't the energy so i'm so glad everything went smooth but you already know you guys tomorrow is go home day and so i'm so excited for that but i'm gonna go ahead and just rest up chill i can really sleep in today and we have free breakfast tomorrow you know your girl always let me some good breakfast and it's free like come on so i would definitely check that out but i will see you guys in the morning good morning move makers today is day four of my four day trip i just woke up this morning it's about 7 30 in the morning only because i want to see what breakfast was all about and my captain had told me that for this hotel you really have to get up so early to grab whatever breakfast because they don't like restock it so whatever is left over is left over and i was like oh no 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 no! <laughs> i'm gonna make sure i got me some breakfast so i got me a banana i think these are like egg spinach thingies i'm gonna definitely let you know how that goes i got a sausage biscuit and some oatmeal with cinnamon and brown sugar oh and i also got these cheerios as well for maybe later on so yeah you guys i'm just gonna enjoy my breakfast in bed and i'm gonna go right back to sleep wake up do some editing and everything like that so i can have this video out as soon as possible what's going on move makers today is day four of my four day trip so you already know what that means it is go home day so i am getting ready to go my van leaves at 507 p.m and today i only have two legs technically one and it's super short because we're going from indianapolis back to detroit and i'm working the forward and i'm so excited because literally like the trip is like 50 minutes probably like 45 and it's just up and down and we're done and then i just deadhead from detroit back to Atlanta. Luckily this time crew scheduling cannot extend me. They can't do nothing with my schedule because tomorrow is starting my day off so they can't go into my day off like that but they definitely knew what they were doing because they had me coming into Atlanta exactly like at 11 55 so right before midnight so technically of course I'm not going into my day off so crew scheduling they definitely knew what they were doing but it's all good because my energy is amazing right now and I'm just excited to go home so I will see you guys once I make it to the airport. What's going on move makers? I had made it back home. This trip was so much better than last week. I had amazing destinations, brand new hotels, and I was able to sit in Delta One. That was a dream come true. So if you're not familiar with Delta One, that is first class on one of the biggest aircrafts that Delta has. And they're amazing because they give you your own headphones. You have like this own private sliding door that you can close and open whenever you want to. Your chairs are able to recline all the way back as if you're laying in a bed. And it's an amazing, amazing experience. So I'm just so grateful that I was able to sit there and just enjoy the ride back home. But if you guys are watching this part right now, that means you have made it all the way to the end. And thank you so much again for watching watching make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below also don't forget to check out my social media and of course before i close out the video i want to say thank you so much we have reached 200 subscribers i am so excited like you guys oh my gosh like 
I am just so grateful and I'm so excited to keep sharing this content. Trust me, guys, like I keep saying there's stuff coming out soon. There's so much coming out soon. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really wouldn't be here without you guys. I appreciate every second you watch, every like you give, every comment you leave below. I appreciate everything. But all right, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and go to bed. But of course, when you make a move, make sure it's for you. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Let's